What is up guys, back in today with another reaction to Nichijou, this time of episode 22. Uh, as usual, we'll just get into the episode because we've got absolutely no idea what to expect, but last week's episode was another absolute banger, so can't wait for this one. Uh, do let me know what you guys think in the comment section though. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys do like and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date. That's pretty cool actually. I do say that's true. You can't prove that's true though. But, I mean, logistically it should be true. Just have to wait to a, a point in advancement where you can work everything out with science. What was he praying for his hair? <laughs> What's going on there? Hopefully I'll remember to actually turn the music back on this time. I think I forgot last week, didn't I, unfortunately? Oh, it does look kind of crappy. I don't really like the... I'm not a massive fan of Mohawks in general, but I, the big ones actually look pretty cool. I think the little ones, like what we saw there, it looks like he's had a haircut. The little kind of small stubbly ones are pretty crap, to be honest with you. Kind of look like a uh, Fallout default character. <laughs> it's a Monday. This isn't a bad thing, actually. The Fallout kind of NPCs are actually pretty legendary by their own right. So it's actually almost a compliment. <laughs> Some people would see it. I hope we do see more of fucking Biscuit number two, you know. We see another shot of him there in the opening. I hope we do see more of that kid, because he was really cute. But I've only got four episodes left, so. Whatever did happen to Biscuit number two? Man, I do love this opening. Yeah, Biscuit number two. Which I think is his name. He better come back in the story at some point. I feel bad for the little guy. Got created and then just abandoned instantly. <laughs> yeah. Actual medication. I think he might. <laughs> Is he laughing at him? <laughs> oh my god. Maybe he's so confident because he can actually see spirits. And he, and obviously there's nothing here. Like you're trying to scam a scammer in a way. Is that like... Is that a Silent Hill reference? <laughs> they look like the limb creatures from uh, Silent Hill 2. Ah, oh, he's using the uh, Yuko, no, the Mio 
high jump technique. That's a headbutt technique, I meant high jump technique. <clears throat> Oof. So that is something with both Japanese and American style houses. They they all are very um they aren't they? Easily destroyed. He is the demon. Yeah, that is true. I think it wasn't ever possessed. He was the demon the whole time. Hmm. Whose sister is this again? I feel like I'm the same way when I revise, honestly. I've never been a reviser. I've always been a learner. If I learn something, I'll learn it first time. I'll, I'll learn, I'll actually pay attention. If I don't pay attention and can't learn it first time, there's no point in me revising because I won't ever really be able to. And it'd probably be worse for me if I did. It'd just be a waste of time. Like the things I'm good at, like maths and, and such like that, I uh, I get, did no revision for or anything whatsoever. Did did no revision or anything whatsoever for any of my like GCSEs or anything. Got good grades actually, so I don't know. It's just I'm, I'm a weird person in that regard. Well, I'm a genius because I don't get top marks. Don't get me wrong, but. Oh, well, that was Araki for a second. <laughs> Master. So I should be complimenting the strike. Um, yeah, not genius by any means. Definitely not. And people that did revise, well, they were usually the ones that got the best marks. People that revised a lot, the smart people that revised a lot, I just can't do it. I just like, I just can't. <laughs> There's no point in revision for me. I wouldn't say it's the same with practicing because I definitely like sports, especially. I definitely get better with the more you do it. Especially recently, I've been amplifying the frequency of when I've been training for football. Like I used to just go once a week and play a game on the weekend, but now I play at least two or three times during the week and then a game or two at the weekend. And definitely a lot sharper the more I play. Or fucking die he'll good guy that job really would suck on a hot day just sweating in one of those happy for you maybe <laughs> for you you always kill the family a certain Christmas one shot That's not asking for anything massive. You're actually asking for more. <laughs> oh. Where do they get their money from is a good question. 
How do they pay for food and keep the cat here and stuff? Questions we'll never know. And we don't need to. Santa. So is Santa. What is that? Is that just rolls? Melon bread. That doesn't sound very nice. Melon bread. Oh, that reminds me of that fucking video I saw on Twitter the other day about someone making a melon sandwich. So they have watermelon as the bread and they got all this cheese and shit in it. Which also looked fucking disgusting. <laughs> so I guess Santa always speaks English. No matter where he visits. Oh no. It's like that, uh. Goosebumps. <laughs> it's like that Goosebumps fucking episode which gave you nightmares as a kid. With the masks. And get the mask off. Bastard, though. Man, you'd sue him big time if that actually happened. Well, in this situation, for me, I'd just rip the bottom off. Everything that's. Too, uh, the whole thing might be compromised by this point. Like the three second rule. <laughs> I don't really believe in the three second rule. I don't think that's a thing, is it? It might be a thing. I've never actually looked it up. I've just assumed it was always bullshit. Um, yeah, if that was me, pick it up quickly, I'd just like rip the bottom off, rip off the part that's touched the floor, eat the rest. Yeah, exactly. This girl knows. Exactly. Oh, well, no. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, she got her eyes saved. That was pretty lucky. That was, but yeah, the bun, the bun is like, if you drop drop it once, yeah, try and rip off. But drop it twice, then it's pretty much done for. It's done for. It's done for. Just leave it at this point. Oh no, it melted because of the hot bun. Well, what a waste of food. Or you could pick up. Oh, <laughs> I was thinking she could pick up the meat with the handle now. Bank? <laughs> well, definitely not now. Do you reckon she's still going to eat that? Oh no, she's a bit woozy. Oh, no. <laughs> well, definitely not that. It wasn't certain after the running at the bike ride. Oh, she got a wet ass. Oh, that's horrible. I hate sitting outside on something you think safe and then I've, I've just been like raining and then you're like oh my my ass is absolutely soaked I hate that feeling Yo, those girls are really cute aren't they a lot of, there's a lot of cute characters in this show but just like the way the voice actors talk is like it is adorable isn't it Oh. oh, please don't, man. Ah, gonna rip his face off. Or his hair. Ow, oh, look at it. Oh, fuck that hurt. Oh. Again, it's pretty amazing they didn't rip his face off. That, that might be a bit too gross for this show. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that's still there. That, that, you can feel that. <laughs> Please, can't fuck that on this girl. Who gave her access? Who gave a girl like this access to all those weapons? By the way, it kind of looks like you're gonna kill him. Actually, hack I say. Did I turn the music back on? Am I an idiot? Sorry, guys. I always do this. I did. Good. I always just like get a little bit paranoid halfway through the episode. No, actually, I'm such a useless bastard. I uh, always forget. It'd be nice if there was like some, like this would never happen. But if there's like some option to like, they, they can never sync up like the internet and OBS. I don't think where well. it knows when a lot of songs playing. It'd be nice if it could like automatically tell. Oh, songs playing now. Let's mute. There's something like that on the YouTube editor, and it fucking sucks. That edits out just a song, but leaves like your voice talking, and it it just moots everything most of the time. And. Knowing, uh, knowing my, I'm not sure she's gonna care. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh, he's a cat, so he should climb up high. That's the instinct, surely, right? Just like go high. Oh god. No, I'd do. I'd just lift. I'd just lift him above my head if I had to. It'd probably take a few bites. I mean, hacker say would probably die, so she can't do that. <laughs> but you'd probably take a few bites. But you're saving your animal, so. <laughs> don't know. Oh boy. No, they're actually being quite well behaved, these dogs. They're not actually doing anything. Well, can I not actually do it anything? Yeah, they've been fine actually. Maybe they don't have teeth. Toothless dogs. Oof. Uh, maybe just don't get too close. Well, the other one. You know, the other one reminds me of my grandma's old dog. I used to be an absolute rat. Horrible thing. It was this little, uh, I can't remember what breed it was, but it's this little rat, and it would always bite people and scratch people and attack people. And it'd be super energetic, it'd just be sprinting about the whole time. It was a horrible little dog. Uh, well, at least, at least, uh, Sakamoto isn't dead. <laughs> at least we were okay. And let's check up for rabies, it's probably a good idea. Although, I'd hope. My dogs don't have rabies.
they're, they're actually pretty well behaved for the most part. <laughs> yeah, and that's the end of that. Could have actually ended up alright. Apart from Mio and Yuka. If they'd never arrived, maybe nothing ever would have happened. Ah, so the dogs are seeing the opener. <laughs> they they also seem okay actually. Creepy elevator shot right here. It reminds me of that horror movie I watched that was that was all about just like being in a uh, an elevator. I can't remember what it was called. It was alright. It was one of those late 2000s movies. Early 2010s perhaps. Yeah, I think they're just trying to lend a hand, aren't they? Sure, man. Why is he sad and like fucking grudge right now? <laughs> oh, Kiyoshi. Do you sound like the grudge? Uh, if any of you guys recognize that noise, um, yeah, we'll just uh, skip the ending. Not the biggest fan of this ending. I like the visuals a lot. Not, not a massive fan of any of the endings of Nichi Joe. Much prefer the openings. Madam Pandas. I like melon. I'm not sure. I'm not, I can't. I've never imagined melon bread. Although I've never had bitter melon, which was a thing about an anime last season. I've never had bitter melon before. I'm not a fan of bitter stuff or sour things. I don't mind sour stuff, but I don't mind a bit of lemon or lime, uh, especially on like fish and stuff. But um, I don't like kind of like really sour sweets or anything like that. I've always been a um, uh, there's always been a thing with things like that, like really sour things. I remember like cringe and like go like this and like have a spasm. Uh, what also has that effect on me is like chalk on a chalkboard. Just like just remembering my childhood actually just makes me cringe a little bit. Um, in terms of like remembering when my teachers would draw on the on the blackboard with a yeah, I was in primary school when we had blackboards. Um, <laughs> I did go to a Christian primary school so it was a little bit primitive in that regard to be fair uh probably behind the times a little bit i was i was going to school in the times when we changed that till till we had these like pen things that would go on a projector board and you'd be able to draw with them and stuff uh yeah uh and yeah i just like even re remembering the feeling of being going to primary school and having chalk getting written on a chalkboard always just made me shiver and just like even remembering that is just like horrible for me, let alone actually like going through that. I'm glad that we did go for to projectors and, and uh touch screen <laughs> because again that that felt horrible to me for some reason. It, it, uh, for some reason again the, the sourness and the chalk that they're in the same bracket for me of feeling like that. I don't know what it is. Um there might be some kind of scientific explanation for that. I'll probably look it up after this, but um yeah let me know if you guys have any of that as well but yeah awesome episode today uh nice uh nice set. it's a bit of a shame honestly that we're so close to the end and hakase and uh nano are only just now kind of like interacting with uh mio mai and yuko um would have maybe like that a little bit earlier on but um i think there is actually still kind of like manga um left after the anime that wasn't adapted so i might end up reading that i do think that the voice actors and such and of course the animation really adds a lot to 
Nichi Joe though. I think especially the voice acting is just like it's hilarious. So um, yeah, really, uh, really awesome episode today. Uh, do let me know what you guys think about this one down in the comment section though. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys said like and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date. I'll be back next week with episode twenty three. So I'll see you guys then. Uh, not too many episodes after that. So yeah, that kind of sucks. Um, I also just a little note at the end here as well. I will. Uh, well, I already have. Uh, what would have been yesterday for you guys? I'm recording this a day in advance just because I've got a pretty free day today. I've actually put a poll up for the next anime we're covering on my community tab. Um, I'll be uh, I put one up yesterday, um, and then I'll be putting one up next week on Monday uh, for the second one. And then out of those two bowl polls, I'll take the top two um, shows from both of the polls and put them in one final poll so you guys can vote on to see what anime I'll be covering in place of Nichi Joe and Berserk, uh, which I'll both be ending around the same time. So um, yeah, hopefully you can uh, vote on that. Again, thank you guys very much for watching and have a good rest of your day, guys.